Hello and Hello welcome to the Made in Lincoln UK September edition 2016. This is a social interactive documentary video magazine reflecting and promoting Lincoln District life and events. Hi, I'm Paul Letchworth, one of the exhibitors at the Sam Scorer Gallery uh, and Jury Lane in Lincoln. Uh, this picture is a, is a painting which was uh, made from boats which were taken out of the water in Albra. Uh, I particularly like the distressed surfaces of paint that have been weathered and um, using a mixture of spray paints, pencil and oil paint I'm trying to capture the uh, distressed nature of the surfaces. A similar subject matter um, in that this is a, a diptych which is from Albra Boats. Um, I'm particularly interested in this painting in the layering of um, white and how again the distressing nature of weather and water takes its toll on the boat's paintwork. My most recent work has been about uh, interiors of galleries and the architecture that you find inside a gallery. Um, this is my, the first painting I've done of this series um, after the Louvre um, and the pyramid uh, structure. So I'm positioned on the stairway looking upwards through the glass. Um, again, I'm using oil paint and spray paint in this work. Again, part of my gallery series, this painting is of uh, the Tate St. Ives, um, beginning with a series of drawings that were made in the entrance to the gallery. Um, you're looking inside the gallery, outside, towards the sea, um, and you have uh, abstractions of uh, glass and uh, colour. This painting, um, Musée d'Orsay, uh, the clock, the very famous clock, which uh, you're looking out over across the Seine. Um, and again, this is uh, produced by masking off areas and spraying using spray paints. One of the key features of my work is the, um, the changes that the painting goes through over time. Uh, this painting here, which is of the Louvre stairs looking downwards, um, not upwards, um, you see pencil marks and changes of uh, shapes, which is something which I think is important in my work. Uh, this painting is uh, a piece of work which uh, I've, I did after a visit to home, the nightclub in Lincoln. Um, and uh, it's trying to capture that sort of energy and that uh, sort of darkness and light that goes on in these uh, nightclubs.
Hello, I'm Theresa Mills and I'm currently exhibiting at the Sam Scorer Gallery in Lincoln on Drury Lane with my colleague Paul Letchworth. This is the first in a series of three paintings that I did um, from photographs that I took while on holiday in Queensland, Australia. The model is my daughter, although the, I wasn't painting them actually as portraits of my daughter, I was merely using her um, as, a, as a model. Um, as a feature of the paintings. And it's the story kind of of um, the way a child will um, sit and look and are attracted to, to rock pools and the idea of paddling and just cautiously dipping your toe in and the, the enjoyment of, of kind of thrashing around in the, in the water. This one is um, what I wanted to capture was the shadows particularly, but also the, the quiet, tranquil pool and the, the surging of the Pacific Ocean behind it. So this one again was capturing the beautiful um, ever-changing reflections and the contrast between the light and the dark, but also the, the, the ripples as, as the child is, is playing and splashing around in the rock pool. And this one is literally just that moment of dipping your toe in the pool, just literally testing the waters and that very cautious approach and the particularly for me the painting is all about the fingertips, that balance as you just dip your toe in that beautiful clear rock pool. This is a still life that basically just celebrates the joyousness of eggs really. I have chickens and when I go out and collect them I'm always intrigued as to the variety of colour and, and shape and size of them and I just painted it for the joy of the of the eggs, the oddness of the eggs and the, the contrast of the colours and again reflections um, and shadows and light and dark. This one is called Fig Fest and again it's just a, a celebration um, in the, the joyousness of growing your own fruit and vegetables. I have a fig tree, I picked them, I put them in the white dish and was immediately struck by the, the colour and the light and dark and the, the kind of separateness of the, the shadow to the figs. This one's called Sour Mix and is again a kind of celebration of, of growing your own fruit and veg and again just, just being struck by the variety and the beauty of the contrast of the, the yellow and green gooseberries. This is um, Boulogne sur la Mer in northern France and just a few snapshots that I randomly took of my daughter who cartwheels her way round, the, round everywhere basically as children do and the thing that struck me was the shadow and again the, the kind of the separateness, the, the way that the shadow almost has a life of its own um, as she joyfully cartwheels her way down the promenade at the seaside. This one is called La Mer and again is at Boulogne sur la Mer in northern France and from the photograph that I just happened to take um, it was the, the, the Peter Pan type shadow that had its own, own life and was almost dancing across the, across the promenade almost on its own. Again it's always the light and dark and the shadows that intrigue me and um, lead me to, to paint the photographs that I've taken. This is a painting from a photograph that was taken, again, almost completely coincidentally, um, at a roller disco in a local school in Lincoln. And the, the, the distortion of the figures and the shadows and the dancing of the light and the, the, the movement and the strange, vivid colours that happened to come out at the instantaneous changing of the, the lights, the disco lights. What I wanted to capture with this one was my daughter's very kind of wobbly first attempts as she's um, taken round the, the sports hall of the roller disco and that, that kind of wibbly wobbliness as she, she squiffles her way around the, and the lighting and the, the shadows dancing around her. Hello, my name's John Brown, aka JB, and uh, I'm a DJ, MC, and music producer. I've been doing it DJ wise from since I was 11 and a half. Uh, I wanted to do it a bit earlier, but they wouldn't let me. 
Um, I'm now 54 next Friday and um, basically I'm, I'm still going strong producing a lot of drum and bass and JTEC which is jungle techno uh, I try and do my best to uh, make my music different and stand out from everything that I do and as much as I can I produce and do three different radio shows on a Monday I do www.planetrave.com on a Wednesday once a month I do a show called Only Drum and Bass which is basically all drum and bass throughout the whole evening um, and on a regular Wednesday which is every Wednesday I do frequencyradio.co.uk and on a Saturday which is today I'll be doing onlyoldschool.com so far so good um, it's a, my regular slot I do 12 till 2 o'clock and it's um, basically loaded sometimes with drum and bass other times it's with um, JTEC I do make other types of genres as well but um, I concentrate mainly on JTEC and drum and bass uh, I've been doing it for a number of years from since I'll say 2000 and five on and played Northern Soul, played Tamala Motown, then I started playing um some R and B which at the time was called Soul. Hip hop wasn't really about in them days. Uh it was just starting to come through. Uh from there let's say I played jazz funk, played reggae Soca, Calypso, and r Reggae, Raga, Soca, Calypso, and Dancehall. Uh, I progressed from there when hip hop really started to take off, and later on in the years I started playing house, and uh, Chicago House was coming up, and all the house genres that passed throughout, expanded and I played most of them for many many years but then I worked in clubs in Lincoln, Trilbys, when it was Trilbys I played Lasers and Rothschilds and it's now called Sugar Cubes, I did Cinderella Rockefellers, I also did um, uh, opening of a club called KISS which was um, an interesting club but then I decided in 1988 to go to Tenerife I was offered a job there in Mrs T's and uh, I decided to go and uh, I spent eight years there started in Mrs T's, worked in Fever, Tramps, Bananas um, I did spots in the Crow's Nest, in um, other places like the Mediterranean later on in life, but one of my main clubs was called La Rocca. La Rocca was a big club called La Rocca because it was full of rocks, it's next to the beach and it was glorious. It was a carper. A carper is a club, it's an open air nightclub to cut a very long story short. And it held three and a half thousand people. Now to me that was one of the biggest clubs I'd worked at and I worked there for a number of years and enjoyed it to the full.
El no es otra persona que JP nos ha cautivado el corazón de absolutamente todos con ese hola hola Tenerife. Vieron cómo abrió el espectáculo, ¿no? Unas palabras para Canal 7 del Atlántico y un saludo muy especial. Bueno, en inglés. Como quieras, en español que sé que lo estás criticando. Bueno, yo intento hacer así por la gente ahí. To make a home say, come move your bottom with me. Come and get funky. I'll talk about to make a second, make a all rock. Give me the other guy to make a pull up the side. Don't stop doing it live in the shoe. To make a all say, you're doing it hard with the groove. Rock it and shake it, make it all come alive. Time to groove. We're gonna pump up your thigh. Take a lick, just a lick a bit, just a lick a bit of exercise. Woo! Solamente él puede hacer esto. JP, que esperamos tenerte aquí por mucho tiempo. No te vayas de Tenerife porque te queremos muchísimo. Y sobre todo, esta casa es tu casa. Canal 7 del Atlántico, no lo olvides. Chao. Uh, I'm getting ready to do my radio show at the moment, um, which starts at 12, which is in approximately 20 minutes or so, uh, where I'll be playing my own music production, and this week I'll be playing drum and bass at 180 beats per minute, which I feel is more the upbeat side of what I do. Um, it's very danceable. I have an album out at the moment and I've got another one coming out later this month. Um, the one that I put out, well I didn't put it out, it's on Red Alpha Records. It's out um, and it's called J All JB 2015. And the new album will be All JB 2016. So far, so good. So now, with a bit of luck, you'll be able to hear my music, purchase it, or contact me for the those that haven't been released, and uh, let me know. I've got a few newbies to play today as well, as some uh, that I've already been playing and getting some good response from. Um, My music is very, very important to me. I'm, let's say, a hands-on type of fella who enjoys music. That is my life. That is totally what I'm about. My music is, for me, here in Lincoln, one of the best things that I can possibly do to bring myself into the music and give that to other people, to keep them dancing and give them memories throughout the whole of their lives.
Saturday, you me, JB, aka John Brown, taking me through from now until two o'clock. Live and direct here on OnlyOldSchool.com. Big, big shouts go out to those in the chat. Going out to Scotty Man, to Hedy, to Tasha, to SE, and to Shoggy. OSD and Lois, starting this week with a newbie, something a little different for you. music that I've made. There's a couple of thousand tunes in that section. And of course, August Bank Holiday is when the Victorian Steampunk Society, Fashion Easters, all get together from all over the world for their annual get-together here in Lincoln to attend meetings, workshops and fashion shows alongside steampunk music events. To see a full clip of this year's Steampunk Festival 2016, go to Made in Lincoln UK on Facebook as it is one of the Lincoln Entertains clips. Well, there we go, that wraps it up for this edition. Now remember, this is your video platform. If you have any ideas or topics or issues that you feel would be of interest to the people throughout the Lincoln District, then get in touch with me and I'll put it in the big picture.